मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ऑल फोर्स ई लर्निंग क्लासेस दिस इज जुआलॉजी सब्जेक्ट चैप्टर फोर सेशन फाइव वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सो फार दी एक्सक्रीशन दैट इज गुड रैंस एंड होमियोस्टैसिस इट इज दी स्ट्रक्चरल द स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट परफॉर्म दी ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन एंड एक्सक्रीशन इज नन अदर दैन द किडनीज किडनीज आर mesodermally in origin and or of metanephrite kidneys generally the kidneys are one pair in number and or of reddish brown color and uh, these are what present in the renal capsule which protects the kidneys kidneys are said to be the retroperitoneal organs retroperitoneal organs in the sense the organs which are the kidneys are lined by means of peritoneum only the surface facing the body cavity so are retroperitoneum such is what retroperitoneal organs and these are present on the either side of the vertebral column between uh, the last thoracic we discussed that uh, the last thoracic uh, and uh, the third lumbar last thoracic and uh, third lumbar vertebrae where it is located last thoracic and the third lumbar vertebrae it is located which means uh, it is uh, between the 12th thoracic and the third lumbar vertebrae its a location and uh, generally the kidneys are with the uh, lined by means of renal capsule and the kidneys are protected by this re, uh, the of renal capsule which is furtherly lined by means of a fatty sheath name it to be the adipose uh, layer and that is lined by means of uh, the collagen containing uh, the fiber containing uh, renal fascia so the kidney is uh, present in the renal capsule which is lined by means of adipose uh, uh, layer and that is lined by means of a uh, renal fascia which is for protection uh, for the kidneys and uh, we have discussed that the kidneys are 10 to 12 cm of the length as well as 5 to 7 uh, cm of the wide as well as a 2 to 3 cm of the thickness and kidneys are uh, what uh, protected by means of generally the floating ribs we say that is in the case of uh, the human beings there are uh, 12 pairs of the ribs are present of that uh, the 11th and 12th are what name it to be the floating ribs the floating ribs uh, are also protecting the kidneys kidneys are what with the uh, outer side it is the convex and the uh, inner side it is concave the inner concave region they are present in notch name it to be the hilus 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 is a uh, it is a uh, the notch uh, through which uh, the ureter ureter artery artery and uh, the veins are uh, what pass through veins pass through generally the case with the uh, hilus of the the notch uh, the on the concave concave region of the kidney through which the ureter artery and the veins are uh, pass through in this connection the artery is the entry that is the hilus is the entry gate for the artery hilus is the what do you mean by that through hilus uh, the ureter artery and the veins pass through artery renal artery enters into the kidney through the hilus hence uh, hilus is the entry gate for artery and uh, the ureter as well as the veins uh, vein renal vein is the one which takes away the blood uh, from different tissues into the heart so renal vein is what leaving the kidney through the 
oilless and ureter what carry the nitrogenous waste uh, that is also leave out through the hilus hence uh, the ureter and veins are considered to be the exit gate ureter uh, for ureter and veins the hilus is the exit gate so this is a uh, what we learned besides that kidney is uh, with the outer dark region name it to be the cortex whereas the inner light region is what named it to be the medulla and in the medulla region there are uh, the 12 to 16 number of the conical projections uh, conical regions named it to be the medullary pyramids the medullary pyramids have the tip name it to be the renal papillae these medullary pyramids are separated by means of the extensions of the cortex name it to be the columns of bertin the renal papillae which are the tips of uh, the medullary pyramids open into the caplai projections name it to be the smaller which are uh, the up to 7 to 10 in number name it to be the minor minor means smaller smaller caplai projections from uh, renal papillae name it to be the minor calyces this minor calyces lead into larger major calyces which are 2 2 3 in number and these calyx uh, calyces calyx is a singular form uh, this calyces lead into the funnel shaped structure of the kidney name it to be the renal pelvis renal pelvis lead into ureter so this is the description what we have seen uh, in this connection you have to keep in mind the terms we have seen a retroperitoneal organs renal capsule adipose tissue layer then fascia cortex medulla medullary pyramids renal papillae calyces columns of bertin renal pelvis these are all the terms you must remember very very important in match the following uh, definitely they are expected now let's go to the remaining part in the excretory system we have seen uh, these are the kidneys kidneys uh, through the hilus uh, the pair of the white thin narrow tubules uh, what leave out name it to be the the ureter the remaining part now we are going to discuss that is none other than ureters urethra this is ureter this is a urinary bladder urinary bladder and uh, here where we find uh, the urethra urethra so these are the part uh, now we'll discuss so in this connection uh, let's go to discussion of uh, the ureter generally the ureters are considered to be the narrow the narrow thin walled tubules whitish color that uh, come out of the they leave the kidney at the hilus region and uh, they run posteriorly downward backward that is they run up uh, posteriorly or downwards these are white thin walled uh, structures and are of made up of transitional epithelium transitional epithelium the point to remember we have discussed that the every system of uh, the human beings are made up of uh, the epithelium since epithelium is ectodermal endodermal and uh, mesodermal in origin and uh, all our internal organs are formed from uh, any of the three primary general layers so the transition so all the body parts are all the internal organ systems are formed from any of the three primary general layers suppose the circulatory system from uh, the mesoderm reproductive system from mesoderm alimentary canal from endoderm nervous system from ectoderm likewise we see 
the different systems are formed from different uh, germinal that is three of the primary germinal layers and uh, epithelium formed from all the three primary germinal layers that is the reason why most of uh, all our body parts are with the epithelium as a lining so in this connection ureter is with the transitional epithelium it is a long thin tubular uh, the membrane whitish color it comes out of the hyalus region of the kidney that is it is the continuation of the renal pelvis and uh, run downwards and uh, lead into the urinary bladder generally this uh, ureter is made up of transitional epithelium transitional epithelium is one of the epithelium of compound type and here it is a uh, what also the ureter uh, lined by means of transitional epithelium and it lead into the urinary bladder where the urine is stored now we'll go and discuss the urinary bladder urinary bladder urinary bladder is the part where the urine is temporarily stored it is almost all pear shaped highly muscular it is a almost all pear shaped highly muscular uh, structure name it to be the urinary bladder this urinary bladder is a muscular also that is it is with the muscles name it to be the detrusor muscles detrusor muscles detrusor muscles and uh, these detrusor muscles are what include the longitudinal and the circular muscles diagrammatically we can see the urinary bladder uh, in this fashion look at here this is the diagrammatic view of uh, the urinary bladder where uh, internally the cavity there present a structure name it to be the trigone uh, trigone look at here trigone tri in the sense three it is a uh, the combination of the three openings and here where you find the internal uh, wall of the bladder urinary bladder internally also lined by means lined by means of epithelium here it is also name it to be the transitional epithelium the urinary bladder is also made up of uh, the transitional uh, epithelium it is made up of transitional epithelium generally the muscles present in it are what name it to be the detrusor muscles these detrusor muscles are both uh, longitudinal and uh, circular longitudinal and uh, circular muscles longitudinal and uh, circular muscles it includes both uh, longitudinal and circular muscles where uh, the outer and inner is longitudinal muscles whereas internal middle uh, circular muscles all of which are what said to be the smooth muscles made that is these are what is said to be the unstraighted muscles uh, unstraighted unstraighted muscles so the urinary bladder which is uh, the part where temporarily urine is stored and it is with the muscle made that is it is a highly muscular structure and it is the one with the muscles name it to be the detrusor muscles it is the part into which the two ureters open and the point to remember that uh, it is also lined by means of transitional epithelium the detrusor muscles uh, in it are both longitudinal and circular muscles outer and inner uh, longitudinal muscles and middle uh, circular muscles it is made and all of them are smooth muscles in the sense involuntary muscles and uh, 
एट सर्टन पॉइंट द स्मूथ मजल्स आर स्मूथ मजल्स आर जॉइन टूगेदर फॉर्मिंग द इंटरनल इंटरनल द स्पिंटर स्पिंटर विच इज द सर्कुलर मजल्स मेड सर्कुलर मजल्स मेड इंटरनल स्पिंटर इज प्रेजेंट एंड इट इज ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ द जस्ट बिलो द इंटरनल स्पिंटर वन मोर एक्सटर्नल स्पिंटर इज फॉर्म external sphincter the case with the urinary bladder which is a muscle made these muscles are of both longitudinal and circular muscles and uh, these are what uh, said to be the detrusor muscles and uh, these muscles uh, which are what uh, of these the circular muscles join together forming the internal sphincter which is a smooth muscle itself so it is the can see it is considered to be the involuntary muscles internal sphincter is a involuntary in function whereas descending to this that is below this one more sphincter is formed which is named to be the external sphincter it is a skeletal muscles made it is a skeletal muscles made so it is a voluntary voluntary muscles voluntary muscles made what do we say is the urinary bladder which is made up of both internal sphincter and external sphincter internal sphincter is circle circular muscles made and external sphincter is skeletal muscles made recall your memory anus is also surrounded by means of the both the, the internal and external there also internal sphincter is of smooth muscles made and external sphincter is of what is called the skeletal muscles it is voluntary the same thing happened to be takes place besides that into the urinary bladder both the sympathetic sympathetic and parasympathetic parasympathetic nervous system neurons neurons are innervate innervate both sympathetic and parasympathetic neurons innervate the urinary bladder and uh, that uh, work uh, one against the another same as earlier we have seen sympathetic nervous system increases the heartbeat and the parasympathetic uh, decreases the uh, heartbeat the urinary bladder innervated by means of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system neurons and they regulate the urine output so this is the description now with that of the urinary bladder and urinary bladder with a structure name it to be the trigone 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 is seen in the urinary bladder trigone in the sense tri means three so the significance of the urinary bladder is to store the urine and later by the action of the muscles present in it uh, it is a uh, send out uh, in the case of the male through the tip of the penis and in the case of the female through the openings of uh, the vaginal uh it is being a uh, genital uh, the urinary aperture it is being sent out so for that uh, there we find uh, the muscles name it to be the detrusor muscles which are of uh, the longitudinal and circular muscles made so the point uh, to be discussed is trigone urinary bladder is with the trigone tri means three that is it is a uh, made up of the two openings of uh, the ureters two and one uh, 
is the opening through which the urinary bladder leave out through the urethra so the opening of the two ureters and the opening of the urethra through which the urine is out urine is expelled out or send out this what forms the trigone two openings of the ureters and one that of the urinary bladder leading into the urethra so that forms the trigone trigone and uh, the urinary bladder which is with the muscles internal sphincters external sphincter internal sphincter is made up of the circular muscles which is smooth muscles whereas the external sphincter which is made up of the skeletal muscles which is a uh, voluntary made this is the entire description of the urinary bladder a urinary bladder is a highly muscular pear shaped structure and uh, where the urine is temporarily stored and is uh, what made up of uh, the transitional epithelium so if i ask you a question what are the tissues uh, associated with uh, the urinary bladder so primarily we say it is epithelium and the muscle are the epithelium is transitional epithelium and the muscles are uh, the smooth muscles uh, that is a uh, longitudinal and circular muscles that is none other than the detrusor muscles these detrusor muscles which includes the longitudinal and circular muscles these muscles are what forming the sphincters where the internal sphincter is internal sphincter is uh, present at the neck of the urinary bladder and the urethra which is a circular muscles made it is involuntary since it is smooth muscles made whereas the below it is a external sphincter this external sphincter is of skeletal muscles made and it is voluntary both sympathetic and the parasympathetic nerves are what uh, associated with the urinary bladder and uh, there they regulate the mixuration by controlling both by the innervation of the sympathetic and the parasympathetic neurons this is the description about the urinary bladder next uh, the third part uh, we need to be discussed after this we have discussed the ureters then is urinary bladder then urethra urethra is a uh, longer in the male shorter in the case of the females urethra is uh, formed at the junction of the neck of the urinary bladder that is at the neck of the urinary bladder at the neck region the urinary bladder continued as a urethra this is the urethra urethra is longer in a males which is a 20 cm of the long and uh, this is a common passage for both uh, urine as well as uh, the sperms that is semen it is a, a common passage and uh, generally the case with the female individual we can see the differences between uh, male urethra male urethra and uh, the female urethra female urethra male urethra is longer whereas female urethra is a shorter shorter it is 20 cm of the length whereas this is uh, the 4 cm it is shorter and male urethra which is uh, a common passage for both uh, urine and uh, the sperms are transported but here only the urine is expelled out there is a regionalization in the case of the urethra in male while reproductive system will discuss the same that is male urethra is with draw more attention 
मेल यूरेथ्रा इज विथ दी प्रोस्टेटिक यूरेथ्रा प्रोस्टेटिक यूरेथ्रा नेक्स्ट मेम्ब्रेनस यूरेथ्रा मेम्ब्रेनस यूरेथ्रा एंड द थर्ड वन इज सेट टू बी द पिनाइल यूरेथ्रा पिनाइल यूरेथ्रा आई रिपीट द पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर इज male urethra is with the regionalization whereas there is no regionalization in the case of the female urethra male urethra is with the prostatic urethra means the part of the urethra close to the prostatic gland is the prostatic urethra and uh, membranous urethra and uh, the third one which is in between the third one is the part that is close to the penis is the penile urethra between the prostatic and the penile the region which is the middle region of the urethra which is the membranous urethra this is how the urethra in male is regionalized into three prostatic urethra membranous urethra penile urethra whereas in the case of the female there is no such regionalization this is how we see the differences between the male urethra female urethra male urethra longer female urethra shorter male urethra 20 cm female urethra 4 cm male urethra through which uh, the urine and the sperms are uh, what pass through whereas female urethra only urine and uh, male urethra is regionalized into prostatic urethra membranous urethra penile urethra whereas the female urethra is a non regionalized this is how we do discuss uh, the uh, excretory system human excretory system includes the kidneys ureters urinary bladder and the urethra this is the description of uh, the human uh, excretory system and now the kidneys are kidneys are with the structural and functional units uh, which are said to be the nephrons nephrons are considered to be the structural and functional units of the kidneys uh, there are about 1 million number of the nephrons are present 1 million number of uh, the nephrons are present 1 million number means that is 10 lakhs 10 lakhs number of uh, the structural and functional unit uh, are what units are said to be the nephrons which are part of the kidney kidney consist of about 1 million number about 10 lakhs number of the structural and functional unit which give the structure and they itself are responsible for uh, the filtration reabsorption and sending out that's what they are structural and the functional units of the kidneys now we'll discuss uh, the structure of the nephron generally the nephrons are nephrons are